Good morning. Doing a Derelux Live. Starting over here with Tony's car. Hot rod rolling in. Oh, there you go. Some good sound. There you go. Anthony, good morning from Texas. This Nova sure sounded nice when it pulled in. Really nice under the hood. Morning from Belgium, Good morning. <laughs> what do we got going over here pulling in? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got this fine gentleman, Nico, pulling in. <laughs> What's up, Nico? <laughs> Super nice Nova. Lots of good stuff this morning. Pretty decent, uh, kind of decent full crowd. You guys, are going to check out the uh, Willis up front here. Really nice. Let's go check that out. Good morning from Sweden and Anderson. Good morning. Look at this bad boy. An LSA up in there. Good morning. <laughs> I've seen you guys here a thousand times. I think I've talked to you about it before, but what what year and stuff is this guy? It's a 49 Willys wagon uh, with the New Star State City, uh, motor 6L line be training, uh, MP205 and Data 67 back. Did you, you had a different motor in it before, didn't you? That's my 50. I got a 50 Willys wagon. Oh, okay. That one's got a, a small block 350, 700R Ford. Uh, Ford 9 inch and a Dana 44. Okay. Yeah, that one, we'll try that one just to kind of trip everybody up down there. Got it, okay. That's that's why I, I was like, I didn't think the other one had an LSA. Maybe that's why I was confused. Got it, okay. This is the this is the bad boy. This is the bad boy. The tires are a little bit bigger than the 31s. Yeah. This one's, uh, they both have air conditioning. This one's got power windows, power locks. It's it's, uh, it's it's made for comfort. It rides really nice with the 16 uh, inch shot. Uh, no, you know, work coils. Work for the um, yeah, we're pretty fun. We're having a good time with it. Yeah, it's it sure it sure yet. sounded good when it pulled in. Yeah, yeah, we're not done with it. I mean, we're still working on it. We're getting everything dialed in, so we haven't beat it to death yet. What do you still need to do to it? Uh, I gotta get the, the, the rear set up a little better. Uh, I'm gonna put a bigger pulley on the supercharger. Oh, okay. And then uh, just little stuff. I want to. I want to get a little bit more travel out of the front. I'm, I'm bumping something that I shouldn't be bumping, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna change that around, which is. Uh, just, yeah, it's just stuff that you got to get through. Just little dial-in stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, sure, it's nice. I like the color you chose. Uh, you know what? I didn't cho chose. Cho that was a, the guy who had it before me. Oh, really? It's called uh, Sea Foam or uh, Sea Foam. Atlantic Seafoam, I think it's called. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. What car is this? I don't know what it's like. 
Yeah, it's a winner's wagon. Yeah, very cool. I mean, wow, it's a Jeep, yeah. <laughs> 49. Wow. Very cool. My thank buddy, you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. The bass player in my early band. What's that, sir? The bass player in my early band. Very cool. I've seen uh, that gentleman here a hundred times, but I don't think I've all get the details on it. So that's cool. Forty nine Willis wagon. So that's why I show it to This thing's not messing around. Good morning from Chicago. Good morning. All right. Really nice 57 right here. Tommy Johnson is watching. Good morning. Paul, good morning from Champaign, Illinois. Good morning. It is essential you have a fire extinguisher in your car. That is true. I like the wheels on this guy. Cool flames. Winnipeg, Dave, good morning. What's going on in Winnipeg? <laughs> cool truck. I like it. Good looking truck. Cool Thunderbird. 37.5. <laughs> Good looking Porsche. And CJ, good morning. Robert, Chandler, Arizona. Good morning, Robert. Nico and the dogs. Nico and the boys. David, good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good morning. Check out this guy. The soap, very, very clean. Look at the engine compartment on this guy. Beautiful. Morning. Morning. Is this guy yours? Can you tell me a little bit about it and what year it is? 1967 Dodge Dart. You know, when I walked by it this morning, I was. You, you don't see too many of them. First of all, this this thing is so clean. How, how long have you had it? 2015. 
and it's all been garage built. Wow. Did it originally have that motor? Did it have the flat six? No, it had the 273. Oh, okay. That's a 360 now. Wow. Did, was it this color when you got it? It was not. It was yellow. It was yellow. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to, you, you weren't a fan of the yellow, huh? I was not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really nice color, too. Wow. So you did everything on this car yourself, huh? Yes, sir. Wow. This is a beautiful car. Was it all uh, rotted and messed up here like a lot of them that you see? Nope. Wow. This is a decent, clean car when you got it? Decent, clean car. That was wow. my brother's car in 93, and I found it 20 years later. Wow. It's so clean. When I walked by it, I was like, wow. This, you don't see very many of these in general, but I don't... Usually when you see them, they're beat to shit. <laughs> they're like grandma's car? Yeah, you, usually, yeah, they are. Get a lot of stories. Hey, my grandmother had one of these. Right. My mom had one of these when I was young. Yeah, and I used to beat the shit out of it, right? One of my brothers did the same thing in high school. This thing used to go off the road. We're from like Arrowhead. I'm sure. Wow. Service roads and all that. So you've had it in this state for how long? Uh, I finished it probably in 2018. 2000, eh, probably early 2019 I finished so, so I have exhaust and wheels and tires and then what motor did you say you have in it's it? it's a 360 in it 360? Uh-huh. got AC and all the and bells and whistles and he was 15 when we got it so wow. Firings up, we built it. wow ran all the AC myself yeah the I like how you did it on the wheel well down there that's really nice there's an original AC car but I didn't have any of the AC under the dash Right. I figured just block it off and do it my own way. Wow, that's smart. Really, really clean car. Wow, it's really nice. Took over a year for the bodywork itself. I bet. Yeah. Even it be even starting with a clean car, you still have, especially with the color change, you have a lot to do, huh? Wow. Fenders all came off, everything was repainted, all the jams. Jesus. I actually just finished the motor. The motor was out in May through July. Mm-hmm. And I painted the engine part because originally it was black. So wanted to make it true to dodge and make it blue. Wow. It's a great looking car. Wow. It turned it really nice. What's your name? Garrett. Garrett. Very nice to meet you, Steven. I know it's kind of weird. No, no worries, don't worry yeah. about <laughs> Beautiful car. Thanks. Garrett. Very cool. Yo! Pretty decent turnout. Yeah, it seems Started like it. off a little slow. There was a little lull in the action, but it's picking up now. Yeah, it seems like it, huh? This, I can't get over this thing. Did you look at that thing? I haven't, not yet. The... I walked by it at first and I didn't even notice it, but um, the there was a younger gentleman that I don't even know where he is now, but he was sitting on the bumper. He he brought he's like twenty we were just talk I know we were just talking about this. He's he's twenty four years old and he brought it. It's him and his dad worked on it, it was his grandfather's car, it has twenty thousand original miles. Wow, really? That twenty nine this twenty nine Buick right here is really cool. It's like Hunter Green or something. I got a buddy that just rolled in with a 56 Nomad. I don't oh, yeah? know if you saw it. Uh-uh. But it's a, it's a beater. Uh-huh. But he's a younger dude and he saved it. Oh, really? Yeah, he parked over here. But same thing. He's just he's one of those rare dudes that he's, in he's cars into it. Yeah. Saved up his money. <laughs> it's got an original, just like an original 20,000 mile straight eight Buick. And it's just, you know, they say it might have been like a couple patch paints oops here and there but original 20,000 mile car pretty crazy don't see too many of those around 29 Buick pretty cool car yeah I, I don't know if we, we... It might have been when we were standing there when this thing went by. It didn't even sound like it was on. <laughs> yeah. All the bolts 
Very cool. Yeah, it's a it's a dying breed. <laughs> yeah. I want to go check out this uh, lifted truck. Could have got a spot next to you. Darn, I know. It's a bummer. <laughs> and how long have you had your car? I don't even know. Dude, I've had, so it's been in my family like well, 40 years. Uh, my pops got it when I was a baby. Yeah. And uh, then after he passed, I picked it up and I've had it now for probably about six years. Yeah. Five years, something like that. <laughs> but it sat in the garage for a good year and a half until we got it running. And it's, <laughs> it's a process, man. Slow, yep. Slow going. But. Yeah, I'm sure. And it was a while before you were able to get it back from the, the yeah, situation. The, yeah, the court and <laughs> That you don't need to talk about, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's the goal is to get it and then raise the kids, you know. Yeah. Let the kids grow up in it like I did. Yeah. Yep. Bring them to derelicts and all the shows. And yep. Yep. For sure. There could be worse things that you could take them to do. Well, it stills that fire in them, you know, that that's what they want to spend their time and their money on is old cars. And yeah. Saving up. So, I mean, that's both my kids. That's their goal is to own old cars. And yeah. Yep. I'd say that's a parenting plan. You got to make sure that they spend all their money on cars so they don't have any money for drugs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's the goal. You got to make sure they spend all their money on old cars so they don't have any money for drugs, right? <laughs> Really cool car right here. Stay out of your picture, sorry. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> awesome 56. really cool it looks like if I'm not mistaken he cleared and then fitted the bumper wow that's really cool This bad boy. You got the sport wagon. Got the Buick sport wagon. Got all the wood paneling.
Anthony's Chevelle. I like the color on this uh, Ford truck. Nice color. I like that. That's cool. The phone blew up. I've had all kinds of stupid Randy Price, thanks for watching. Morning. How you doing? What year's your uh, Fairlane? Pardon me? 67. Wait, 67? 67. They only made this stout two years. Oh, did they? 66 and 67. 66 and 67. How long have you had it? Oh, uh, this one, three years. Three years? Before that, I had a 16 GTO for 18 years. <laughs> this was my first car. Oh, interesting. And what motor does this someone have in it? 390. 390 with four speed. Four speed, but a year ago, before you get down and drill the bottom stuff. Oh, wow. It's probably 399. Got it. That's just a hard five for this kind of car. Hmm. Looks really, really clean. The paint's really nice on it. Great looking car. Hey, what's up, man? <clears throat> hey, I thought about you the other day. I saw like on uh, Barrett's or some shit, they sold like, they're starting to sell like the body style of your, whatever those trucks are for like more and more money or something. They sold one of the original Oh, the square bodies? Yeah, like yeah, those. blue one? Yeah. For like 9500 bucks. Yeah, but like they sold like one, like extended cab one for like 35 grand that had like 10,000 original miles or something stupid on it. Did you see, did you see that? Uh, that S10? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I like those things. Those things are cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> What's up, man? Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Unless it's like an $80,000 car. This is the guy that did most of the work. 
Oh, to this? Yeah, that's, this is mine. Oh, it is? Yeah. Wow, this thing's beautiful, man. Thanks. What year is this? 69? 69. I was going to say 69. Wow. Yeah, it was a pretty long project. Yeah? Yeah, I shipped it back to, he moved to Florida, so I shipped it back to Florida. He did the paint job back there. It took him three years. Wow. We took everything off. Went from the ground up, but he, he's probably done seventy percent of all the, the work to this car. It's probably not wow. worth that. It's probably worth that. Did you start with a good-looking car, or was it? I bought, bought the car from the guy who was trying to restore it in L.A. about thirty years ago, uh -huh. and he had all the parts in the trunk and all that, and I brought it back, and I was going to do the same thing. And one thing led to another, and here we are. It started from you just wanted to restore it a little bit to you, then you went crazy. Well, the motor was bad, so then you know, one thing led to another, and then I hooked up with this guy. Uh, he worked right across from the shop. It was one of the machine shop. Mm -hmm. and then, like I said, he's probably worked on it 17 years. Probably. Wow. So, oh, every day. We just finished it two Where years ago. Every day. Wow. And then we entered it into the Seal Beach Car Classic last year. Uh huh. And well, they want to pay. I would imagine. Everything's cut and tucked, and uh, the gaps are all the same throughout the car. This guy is just phenomenal. I really like the how you blacked out everything on the back. Did you see that? Yeah. You want to see the? Did you see the trunk? He's got it open now. He has to throw it back there. Oh wow! I didn't even see that. Yep. The backup lights are gone. The side markers are gone. Wow. Yeah, we got bumpers on it. Well, a lot of the guys have contributed so far. It's like the patient. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> sure is nice. The main the main thing is is do you like it? That's what matters, right? <laughs> all the handles and are black. Are black? Way, yeah. I, I'm more than pleased. Yeah. More than pleased. They're the Ring Brothers. I finally had to stop him because he wanted to keep going. Keep going through like the door handles off. And, you know, right. And just, you know, keyless, and I go, nah, come on, let's just. I like the way it looks. It's, it's still got the classic look, and it, it's not overdone. Right. It's still got enough chrome on it. To, yeah. The, the contrast a little bit. It's not just yep. all blacked out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Great looking car. Thank you. Extend this for JB Welch. Round it down. Wow, that's nice. No, that's okay. There's nothing to get in the way of, man. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to get in the way of. If uh, Matt Black Unicorn built a truck, here you go. This is what it would be. <laughs> Nice 56 Nomad. Z28. And let's check out this little uh, hot rod guy right here. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. What's up with you? Not much. You going to that cruise tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. You? Yeah. Taking the kids? I might take the, the wife and the kids. There you go. I'm trying to scum bag her and I'm taking the Nova. And I'll take <laughs> there you go. Where'd you get that idea? They're like, girls can't drive these cars. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why you're just straight up. 
Locator of that car is what? Drove? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mom can't drive this. She just wants to drive this car. <laughs> this has been good for the shop, uh, like. The quarantine crew stuff? Yeah. No, but like every Saturday, it's like that. Even like when it's shitty weather, like. This. Yeah, a little bit. I was here like a couple, three weeks ago. I had to like double park for a mile. Yeah. Just because people are at home and they don't. I, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you gotta talk them into doing a Sunday one for all like the supercar. Yeah, for sure. Like supercar Sunday, like. Yeah, that's a good idea. Did you do that? Yeah, that's like, a good idea. Yeah. Those cars are louder than these. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> See, Anthony. <laughs> this little guy is cool. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not my favorite, but get your get your legs in there. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, How's your uh, BMW build going? Good, man. Yeah? Good. Yeah, I drove it yesterday. Did Hardly you really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was thinking about driving it today, but then I came with my C10 buddies and I was like, I gotta drive this. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Are you still working on getting rid of this to do one, another one of those? Um, it's up in the air. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> I, yeah I actually have the, I, I drove it out to Dino's last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then put it, I put the for sale sign, so I got a lot of attention and then, uh, have you seen my Camaro? Uh, no, right huh? One? Selling that too. Uh, so. Trying to get rid of both of those to do another one of those? Uh, this, well, I'm gonna have a kid. So, it just, the Camaro, I'm gonna use that money to get a Chevelle for a backseat. Got it. And then, uh, so I told the wife, hey, you know, let me, should, yeah, for the, for the this one, I wanna get a, I saw I can get her, my, she's like, you can get a Raptor. I was like, there you go. <laughs> yeah, a, I'm, 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 all right, you know. That's a good. Yeah, there you go. That's a good. That's so. a good compromise. If, the, there. if that if that even happens, so we'll see what you know. When it sells, it sells, and she she understands that she's not like pushing for it. So. There you go. What are you trying to sell this thing for? Yeah, about thirty. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 got a lot of. Yeah, well, I mean that's the that's the drivetrain is what's the the, the money part, right? Right. <laughs> that's well, cool. The, the air ride and all. Yeah, the, yeah. All yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's cool. Good deal, man. Very cool. Well, if you want uh, people to uh, hit you up about the truck, where do you want them to contact you at? Um, I guess that my, ins my, my Instagram page, it's, uh, it's a funny one. It's uh, El Compacta with four H's. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or they can reach out to you, and then I know you, you follow us. Yeah, all right. Me. All right. Yeah, so yeah. if yeah, if people want to hit up us about this truck, you've on Autotopia. It's been driven on there and a few other places. So you've seen it around probably. So, yeah. And you're, uh, you know, YouTube famous now. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Thank yeah, you. you got it. See ya. Got the triple deuces on this Pontiac. That's pretty awesome.
It's all. It's all stuff. Real nice C10. Real nice C10. Got the tunnel cover on it. Go here and check out this uh, Riviera too. <laughs> Good looking Riviera. Dillo doesn't have a price on it. Russ. Thanks for watching, Russ. I have some guy following me. Diego Lopez, thanks for watching. Adam. Good morning, Adam. Let's go check this guy out. We got an idling for you just in case you wanted to, to hear the 10.73 quarter mile. <laughs> Do you believe that? You know, I feel like I've seen this car here before. He has like a, he's like a like a newer four cylinder or something in it, right? Twin overhead cam, thirty pound boost turbo. Morning. <laughs> there you go. It scares the hell out of me, but it does it on these tires. So there's a few options. There's a guy that does it. That's a Chevy motor, right? No, that's a Ford motor. A Ford Well, it's a, you know, it's a third plate. It's <laughs> this thing's really cool. Most of the time, I can do that. So we'll get the details on it when the gentleman's done talking to him. <laughs> so I, I feel like I talked to you for a couple seconds before, but yeah. I thought this there was a I thought you had an EcoBoost motor in this. It, it's not well, Eco no, no, it's uh. So what it is, Mazda built all four cylinders for Ford. Okay. Ford eventually came out and said, "Oh, but we want to go our own line." They bought a lot of the technology from Mazda. Early on, between 2002 to 2008, Mazda built all the motors full Ford. Okay, so this is this all the motors. Is this the the motor that's in like the Mazda Speed Three and all those? Yes. Yeah, Mazda. It is MZR motor, and it's also in the Ford Focus. Okay. 2.0 naturally aspirated Ford Focus. Okay. Um, so I mean, you'll see it everywhere. But... Okay. So this was in the Focus. 
ST. No, it's not. No, so it's a naturally aspirated in its original format. Oh, it is? Yes, and it's just... But they built so many go fast parts for them for the MZR. That that's so... It's called a Duratec by Ford, MZR by Mazda. Oh, interesting. But it's got a Ford crane, Ford rod, and Ford piston, and everything else. So huh. you can build the snot out of these things. So, originally, none of these were forced induction? Uh, no, there, there was a year, but this particular motor is not. It was never forced induction. Ever. Interesting. And you have how much boost going through this thing? 30 pounds. 30 pounds, okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a diesel. It's like just throw gobs of fucking boost on it. And so, so, so as of right now, it's yeah. pushing how much horsepower? 600. 600, and that's to the wheels? Uh, no, that's on to the, the crank. crank. I think okay. it did uh, 518 at the wheels. <laughs> yeah. 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 Interesting. If I don't sell it, we're going to do 1,000 horsepower. Yeah. And you're just going to see what happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're just going to say, hey, this might explode. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, we're going to put a little roll cage in it, put a thousand into it, and uh, see if we can do nine. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on that I like I like your theory of just let's just see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the transmission I know can handle it. The rear's a little bit on the weaker end. It's just an eight. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But they make a nine for these things that are relatively easy. So did you buy? How much did you pay for the motor in this thing? Uh, so just a, just a drive train, so about nine grand, ten grand, just oh. on the engine. Okay. I know that sounds crazy, but. It's no cheaper to do a four cylinder than it is to do an eight cylinder. Right. I really do mean that. Yep. And so, with, was that with, um, is that with the turbo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm about, from the fans forward, uh -huh. intercooler, radiator, and fans, it's about 2500 bucks. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So and then you have the, the turbo and, yeah. It sure looks like, looks nice how you got everything to fit in there. Much credit for the fitment, so it's done by the guy named Nathan Shaw. Huh. And then on the interior, I like you didn't really change, like nothing's, it just looks like you just, you know, grandma's driving it still. Other than the uh, the uh, strap or, or the belts. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and so you are selling this car, is that correct? So what are you trying to get out of this car? Okay, so I'm looking for a four-door truck. So what are you trying to sell this car for? As as it is, twenty-five. Okay, so you're trying to get twenty-five out of it as it sits right now. There. Okay. Got it. Okay, so make sure you get your information here. I like it. This is the kind of stuff that uh, is pretty interesting. <laughs> this is something that I like. The weird stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. What's up, guys? Good morning. Johnny's brother got the uh, Paul with the Continental kit. <laughs> this is one of the ones that he bought from you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It was really nice. Looks brand new. Looks brand new. With AC. Sure is a nice car. Look at those fins. It's a beauty. Sure is nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's rolling. Cab over. <clears throat> Tony's car with the five oh two right here in the corner. You guys want to just take another look at that cab over? Looks like he's leaving, so let's go ahead and make sure we follow him out. Oops, excuse me, sir. <laughs> See you, man. Thanks for coming in. Adam, thanks for watching, man. Appreciate it. No, not without bending the shit out of those wheels everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they sure are nice, though, aren't they? They sure are nice. Kenneth, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Yo!
any Buicks? Yeah, there's a couple. How you doing? Good, good morning. Sorry about that, right in your way. Look at this sweet truck right here. Really nice truck. It's like Matt pulled in over there. All right, well I thought he was gonna pull out, but I don't think he is. Matt's 56. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to shut it down. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you guys next time.